Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my level 150 dexterity build using Leda Sword. This is a light great sword that skill primary with strength, dexterity, and fight. And it has holy damage in it. And this weapon has weapon skill called Needle Piercer. Like this one. However, the piercer attack is not cannot be bossed by Shard of Alexander. It only can be bossed with the swing of the weapon so for this weapon i will create two type of build the first is the offensive build to maximize the damage output from this weapon and the second is the defensive build that focus on survivability and the style for offensive build i like to wear wet mask combined with lord of blood exploitation to give me up to 30 percent damage buff when i performing seppuku as of war for armor, I like to wear Raksasa Armor Set to give me up to 6% damage. For Talisman, I have Blade of Mercy to give me up to 20% damage after I do critical hit. And next, I have Militian Prosthesis to increase my successive attack. And also, it can give me 5 in dexterity. Another one is 200 Sword Talisman to increase my attack power up to 15%. For crystal tears, I like to use Holy Shrouding Cracketeer to increase my holy damage and also Blood Sucking Cracketeer to increase my attack power up to 20%. Also, I have Blood Boil Aromatic to increase my physical damage up to 30%. For status, I like to invest more in Dexterity as my main attribute and for the incantation, I like to cast Golden Vow Incantation. And the way this build work is first I consume my crystal tears and blood well aromatic yes golden foul sensitive okay let's test this build Hey, nice. Now we are Good Okay. 
Okay, nice. Incredible success attack. And now for the defensive build, I still use the same attribute like before. And I change my armor to latest armor to give me medium protection and also to mimic the Leda cosplay. Like this one is pretty nice. However, you can wear anything you want. And now for the talisman, I have Dragon Crest Great Seal to increase my physical damage negation up to 20%. I still use Blade of Mercy, Militian Prestasis, and also 200 Sword Talisman. For Crystal Tears, I still use Holy Shrouding Krakatir. Another one is Opaline Heart Tear to increase my defense up to 15%. And for the incantation, I like to cast Golden Vow and Flame Cream Strength. So the way this build work is first I consume my crystal here, cast golden pow and flame cream strength. It's pretty simple, so let's get started. Yes, nice.
Ooh, look at that. Ready to go, finishing. Let's go. Nice. 